Hello everyone, it's Stephanie. We are back in business. <laughs> so we are back in business. We're gonna have our English classes online. So I am so happy to be teaching you English again. Of course, I miss you guys dearly. I miss you so much. And I can't wait till we are able to have class again. But until then, we have a plan so that you can continue to grow in your English. So this is the plan. Every week, I'm going to record two one-hour videos and we're going to upload them to YouTube and make them available for you to view. And so the reason that CPAC decided to take this approach is because um, they understand that some of you have your children at home because of the COVID-19. Some of you have your grandchildren at home and it's not convenient to sit down for three hours and have an English class. So because of that, we're gonna upload two one hour videos every week. They'll be out on YouTube um, available so that you can watch it when it's convenient for you. You can watch it at a time after you've taken care of everything else and you can continue with your English. And of course, I'm always here that you can call me, you can text me, uh, you can email me with any kind of questions or concerns that you have. And so I have my contact information up here again. Nothing has changed. So it's the same as it was before. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to make sure you know? Oh yes, and so when you view the YouTube videos, please put a comment or uh, give me a thumbs up, give me some kind of response or uh, so that I know, was it helpful? Did I speak too fast? Is there something you would like me to do different? Your comments are going to be very, very important for me to figure out um, how I can make the class better. So I'll be really relying on your comments to help me figure out how to make this work and be um, be helpful for you because this is my first time trying to do video class too. So this is all new for me, and I know it's new for you. And I'm excited, and I think we're gonna we're gonna make it work. And um, I'm gonna learn, you're gonna learn, and, and I think it's gonna be a great thing until we're able to. Um, to meet face to face again. And I really look forward to that day when I'll get to see you guys again. Okay, so where I've decided to start today is unit seven. Um, that last week of class, we finished unit six and we started unit seven. We did a couple pages in unit seven, but um, because um, not very many of you were able to come once the classes were moved to the CPAC's office, I'm just gonna take a step back and restart at unit seven, okay? So that's where we'll start today, at unit seven. Uh, let me make sure I've given you all the information. Okay, so um, the videos will stay out on YouTube for two weeks. So they'll be available for you for two weeks to go back and review. Um, but try to stay on top of it every week because they won't stay out there. Uh, let's see, what else? what else? Okay, so I think that's it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so this unit is about shopping. Now, how many of you enjoy shopping? I'm sure most of you do, right? I do sometimes. <laughs> so this, this unit, we're gonna talk about shopping. Okay, so I hope you can read my board, okay? If not, that'll be a good comment for you to put in the video for me, but um, so like I said, I'm 
I'm willing to change things and tweak it as we go so we can figure out the best way to get this done. Okay. All right. So shopping. So look at the picture on page 84 in your student book. Ha ha. So make sure you have a pen and your notebook available because if we come across any new words, I want you to write them in the back of your notebook and write them phonetically and the meaning so that you can practice them on your own. Okay. So this picture on page 84. What do you see? There's a lot of stuff in this picture, right? All right. And where do you think? Well, before I talk about this picture, hold on. Shopping. Where do you like to go shopping? That's my first question before I start looking at this picture. Where do you like to go shopping? So fortunately, living in Atlanta, we have lots of options for where we can go shopping. Option. Now, that's a word that some of you may not be familiar with. O-P-T-I-O-N is the way the word is spelled. And the sounds are option. And an option is just a choice. Option is the same as choice or the things you have to choose from. Things you can choose from. That's what an option is. So fortunately, in the Atlanta area, we have lots of options when it comes to where we can go shopping. Okay? So that's our word for you to write in your, um, in your notebook that you can practice on your own. All right. So let's talk about if you were, let's say, needing to shop for... Uh, groceries, food, and supplies for your home. Um, have you got anybody who wanted to write the word option down? I'm going to give you one more minute before I erase it. My board uh, is much smaller than the one I get to use at, at Vision Church, but we'll make use of this. We'll make it do. And by the way, in case there are any new students uh, watching this video, my name is Stephanie Pontu. This class is the class that met at Vision Church. It's a level two class. And today is Monday, April 6th. And this is my telephone number and my email address. And I um, am always available for questions, um, phone calls, help, anything that you need. All right. Okay. All right, so we're still talking about shopping. So if you need food and maybe supplies, uh-oh, my marker's not working too good. Okay, so if you needed food, uh-oh, sorry guys, my marker is not working too good. Let's see here. Can you see that? I hope so. So if you need food and household supplies, you know, let's say dish detergent, eggs, some of the things that you need at home. What store would you go to to get these things? To get food, dish detergent, um, soap, eggs, Would you go to a clothing store to get these things? Nope, nope, nope. You would go to a grocery store. That's right. All right, so if you need it, maybe clothes for your family, clothes and maybe some towels for the bathroom, and socks 
Would you go to a grocery store for these things? No. Would you go to a furniture store for these things? No. You would go to either a department store or um, a superstore like a Walmart or Target. So we'll say department store. And a department store is the stores that had different categories of items. Um, like Macy's is my favorite department store. And they have shoes, they have clothes, they have um, linens and um, towels, household supplies. That's a department store because each type of item is in, in a different department. If you ever notice, all of the women's clothes are in one department. The men's clothes, the children's, the household goods are in a department. The shoes are a separate department. The small appliances is a separate department. That's why it's called the department store. So you could go to a department store to find these things or the super stores like Target and um, Walmart. And if you only needed clothes, you would go to a clothing store. If you only needed shoes, you could go to a shoe store. Um, if you needed furniture, you'd go to a grocery store, right? <laughs> Just kidding. No, you wouldn't go to a grocery store. For furniture, you'd go to a furniture store. And um, sometimes furniture stores also sell appliances. So for furniture, you'd go to a furniture store. Um, Sometimes they also sell appliances, but if you only need an appliance, you would probably go to an appliance store. And we have lots of those around the Atlanta area as well. All right, okay, so let's get back to talking about shopping. And uh, I'm sorry, I keep turning my back on you guys, but I'm going to figure this teaching, this video teaching thing out. I promise you, my videos are going to get better and better and better as I learn. Okay, so page 84 in your student book. All right, so look at the picture. What do you see? Where do you think this is? Where are they? Are they in a clothing store in this picture? Uh, no, probably not. And what are some of the things that you see in this picture? Um, we see furniture, right? All right, and appliances. So are we in a grocery store for furniture and appliances? No. Are we in a clothing store for furniture and appliances? No. We are in a furniture store. All right, so some of the things that we see in this furniture store are... You see that? That's a red sofa or couch. So sofa and couch basically is the same thing. Okay, what else do you see in the picture? What about that blue thing right next to the red couch? That is basically a small couch, right? And so the smaller couches they call love seats. So it's a red sofa and a blue love seat. And they call it a love seat because only two people can sit there. And you're usually only gonna sit in a love seat next to someone that you like. <laughs> okay, so that's why it's called a love seat. All right, so what else do we see? We see customers, right? Is the guy in the yellow tie a customer? This guy right here. No, he's not a customer. What is he? He's probably a salesperson, right? Yes, yeah, so we see salespeople. How many salespeople? There's two salespeople. We've got the guy in the yellow tie and the lady over in front of the piano. And let's see, we have customers. We have two customers that are sitting in the chairs. And we got three um, different styles of chairs. The brown chair is a recliner. And you guys might have one of those in your living room. All right, a brown recliner. Next to the brown recliner is a purple wing chair. Now that's called a wing chair 
because those two little flaps on the side next to the lady's head kind of look like wings on a bird. So that's why they call that a wing chair. So the purple wing chair, what else do we see? We got three different style chairs. So we got the brown recliner, that's a chair. We got the purple wing chair. It's called a wing back chair, actually. Wing back chair. Okay, and then next to that, the man is sitting in a blue kitchen chair. So we got the blue kitchen chair. All right, what else do we see here? We've got some lamps in this picture. We got three different um, types of lamps, actually. So we've got this tall lamp, it's just called a floor lamp. The tall one with the silver top on it, so that's a floor lamp. And then we've got the green desk lamp that's on the table between the couch and the um, love seat right there. And then the pretty lamp over by the piano with the flowers on it. That's also a table lamp, but it's a special kind of table lamp. It's called a Tiffany lamp. And it's called that because uh, it's a style of lamp. The ones that are made out of the colorful glass with a flower print is called a Tiffany lamp. So we've got the, the green um, desk lamp. Yeah, just the little basic lamps are called desk lamp so it's the green desk lamp and then the tiffany table lamp and then we've got um two pianos okay you see the black one that's called an upright piano so we've got the black upright piano and that's up right We got a black upright piano. And then the smaller brown piano is something that they call, I think it's called a spinet. So it's a smaller piano. So we got the brown piano. What else? In that back right corner, there are some appliances, right? And remember, appliances are those machines that you use in your home to do work for you. So the machines that we have in this picture are, we've got a white refrigerator and we've got that uh, silver or stainless refrigerator. So I'll just write refrigerator up here, refrigerator refrigerator so it's five syllables in the word refrigerator and then we have um two stoves a black one and a white one so i'll just write stove all right what else so we've got oh and you see all these little white tags on the furniture those tags tell you how much that item costs so those tags are called price tags. And you always wanna check the price tag before you go up to the cash register so you can make sure that it's a price that you want to pay for that item. Let's see, did we get everything? I think so. And then we have these sale signs. See, we have the lowest prices, sale 20% off, and then this up here is a sign as well, but that type of sign is called a banner. The signs that are usually painted on fabric and they hang, they hang across the wall, those are banners. So we've got sale signs and that big one is called a banner. So we'll say sales signs, okay? Let's see, did we get everything? 
All right, so in this picture, it's a picture of a furniture store. These are all the items that are on sale at this particular furniture store. And um, let's see, what else, what else? And one more thing, if you look over at the black piano at the sales lady, um, the sales lady, she just marked down the price. You see, the price was $1,200. She changed it to $960. So when you change the price and you make it lower, that's called marked down. So she marked down the price, which is the same as if the price is marked down, it's on sale, which means it's cheaper. Woohoo. Love it. That's the only time I really like to shop. It's when things are on sale. Okay. All right. So I think we are done with page 84.